Hey, what's up, YouTube? Pallav here from NothingWire.com. We have the brand new Asus Zenfone 3 here today. This is the 5.5 inch version, and in this video, we're gonna do a full review of this device. Now, remember, this device is available both online and offline in India for just under 28,000 rupees. So you have a pretty premium looking minimalistic box over here. Here you'll get some of the quick specs. And then we have the gold version here. That's the model number ZE552KL. We don't have the pricing information anywhere because this is the uh, review unit. But as I told you before, starting price is 28,000 for this one and about 22,000 for the 5.2 inch version we have the shimmering gold color it comes in three other colors we'll come back to the phone in just a bit here you'll get some manuals there and also the sim tray opener tool and then you have the usb-c type cable you have the two ampere charger you have the very premium earphones with gold plated audio jack yeah and then extra earbuds and there we have the Zenfone 3 5.5 inch version it's a shimmering gold and it's literally shimmering it's glossy all over it's a fingerprint magnet and that's because it has both glass on the front as well as on the back both are 2.5d glass so they kind of slightly curved at the edges and give the device a very premium feeling and the ring is metal which adds to that oomph factor so you have the power button and the volume rocker here all the buttons are metal then they give great tactile feedback a 3.5 mm jack mic your dual sim tray there and then usb-c type port plus another noise cancelling mic and then your speaker 5.5 inch screen full hd resolution here gorilla glass protection you have the 8 mp front camera your earpiece and sensors shortcut key is gonna be here now note that these are not backlit so they might be difficult to operate uh, at night and then you have a quite protruding 16 mp camera now uh, we would have liked this camera to be just a bit inside and probably more in line with the uh, back but asus says that this is sapphire glass so even probably on decent impacts it won't scratch the glass over or the protection of the lens over here you have uh, led flash and then your uh, laser autofocus area there and a quite weird looking fingerprint sensor over there uh, just under 8 mm of thickness and 155 gram this device definitely is not the lightest or the thinnest device in the market but because of those round edges metal ring it gives good grip however uh, the back side is quite slippery being glass so at times we feel really uncomfortable operating it with one hand however it has that one hand mode but overall we strongly suggest you get a tpu back cover which will give you that additional grip but overall the device is extremely premium now let's quickly show you how quickly this device open up there you see that the fingerprint sensor very very fast and then you get to the 5.5 inch full hd resolution displays an incredibly sharp display and asus says that it has 600 nit of brightness and that actually shows very very bright and even when you go and check out our color card see the color reproduction is great you have this you can still see the difference between this very closely closed red colors and even with the blue colors you can see this blue color is darker this red color is darker and talking about the viewing angle amazing viewing angle see even when you go here literally you can still see the colors and the and the color does not go off so an incredibly sharp and bright display one of the best displays actually uh, you have android marshmallow and zen ui 3.0 on top it's uh, and totally overhaul of the older one you still have those large icons which i really like they are very nice to operate and you almost never press it the wrong button you can go to settings and check out some of the settings item let's say 6.0.1 there and then we can go here memory you can see in the last one day average memory usage is only 1.9 gb and that's less than 50 percent which is incredible i would say it's very good ram management then there are some of the other settings item see 
let's go to the storage and this one comes with 64 GB internal storage out of which you see 44.23 GB available actually you get 52.66 GB out of 64 GB yeah some of those spaces are system reserve now let's look at some of the apps you get the usual google apps here you get lots and lots of asus in-house apps and that's something we're not very happy about they give a lot of bloatware so a lot of these you might not need but still you cannot go ahead and actually you know uninstall those you can just disable those and then some third-party apps also but uh, these games we have installed these games gig, uh, from gig band still here but you would get SimCity, you would get NFS No Limit as well. That's a good thing. Some of the high def, high demand games. And they play really good. We'll come back to that in a bit. Let's go ahead and check out the camera quickly. Which is one of the highlights of this device. It comes with a 16 MP camera. And they specifically talk about the autofocus and it's really quick you see generally it's very difficult to focus on a plain white surface but the camera does focus and click and it's also that 625 chipset enables pretty good buffer actually here and I love I in general love the camera UI of Asus always they give hell lot of features I think the most features any camera UI give you can quickly go to your um, pro mode or manual mode what they call it and here you can customize almost anything and probably more customization than other apps you you can go to actually temperature level in white balance it's that level of customization you can quickly come back to auto some of the shooting modes again one of the most exhaustive list of shooting modes you have hdr pro purification low light depth of field almost anything that you can imagine quickly go ahead and press HDR off or on and that's the front camera it's an 8 MP front camera which is does not lag and shows good amount of detail there you can also you know have a selfie just like that timer so you can get ready for your perfect smile just in time quickly you can toggle between video and still mode and then you can go to some of the settings we check the image and video quality they are incredible i mean i it's it's been long i've seen a camera at this price point performing this well and we are specifically talking about the back camera the photos are very detailed under enough light the colors are perfect and even under low light that's that's the main thing i'll show you some of the low light images they are amazing very good detail very low noise in fact uh, because obviously um, this camera gives out jpeg so they process the images they process the images very good at times there were almost no light and we could get some really good processing image yeah if it's like very low light then the image might be slightly over processed but then you're not going to print them out for social media sharing and you know other things they are perfect the noise creeps in when you stress the camera too much but then that's with all the uh, phones these days now talking about the front camera it's also great under enough light but it's not as good as the back camera under low light uh, lots of noise creeping and specifically that absence of led actually shows uh, we really would have liked an uh, you know led flash out there when it's not there if you're in a party where it's really low light then lots of noise but overall i think it's one of the best camera combinations that we have found at this price point at least We are very impressed with the speaker output. Asus said this kind of will give out 40% more sound because of you know the magnet effect. Basically, there are magnets built in here that actually helps the diaphragm, the speaker diaphragm, um, you know, vibrate that much more efficiently. We could see that the bass is quite good, the treble is fine, even the loudness is proper. And you can actually go to the audio wizard here that we've shown you, and it 
gives out distinct sound depending on what exactly you want to experience movie music gaming vocal or you can simply put that smart so that it automatically detects those very good sound output Uh, very good vocals here not digitally enhanced very natural sounding however i think the surround sound is kind of overshadowing everything else here overshadowing the mids and even the lows the lows are almost totally gone at times almost too bassy but apart from that very good sound output both in music as well as in movie Overall the system is very snappy, we never felt any lag thanks to that octa-core 625 chipset and 4 GB of RAM, absolutely smooth, you can quickly go there see, and you can have as many widgets as you want, you can simply drag up to manage your home page and then those are your notification, you won't see any lag whatsoever. Now the 3000 mAh battery on a 5.5 inch full HD display, we did not expect this backup but it's amazing backup 11 and a half hours of screen on time. That's incredible for a 3000 mAh battery and specifically with the full HD. So it will uh, very easily take you through 1.5 days of moderate usage. However, uh, initial charging took about 2 hours for the phone to fully charge when the phone was switched off. Now remember that's just slightly longer than uh, we would have liked but remember that uh, you know the more you charge the battery the more the battery opens up the charging time kind of slightly reduces a bit but two hours it's sli uh, still I think it's not exactly what the quick charging uh, standards are. The benchmark scores reveals not top but above average scores on almost all the cases. Uh, well not exactly those 8x kind of a result but then the 625 still gives very decent results we also threw in some game on this device it could play them perfectly so then guys what do you think about the Zenfone 3 first of all the 5.2 and the 5.5 inch devices uh, do not have much difference so if you really do not want that extra real estate you can go ahead and buy this a 5.2 inch uh, screen device as well that's another great device now talking about the 5.5 inch here some of the pros are definitely the premium quality and the design and number two is the camera the sound output and even the apps the whole ui is very snappy even the ram now, some of the cons could be uh well I see mostly two cons. Number one is uh, the processor. It's not exactly a con, but at this price point, we have some 8xx processors, and Asus has resorted to a 6xx processor. Now, we've generally seen uh, the 6xx processors in under 20,000 phones, not not like just under 30,000 phones. It's a 28,000 phone. So. Uh, Many people would say, considering the processor, that the 28,000 is probably slightly on the higher side, but in the 5.2 inch is 22,000. Um, that's one thing that I think probably if they had put an 8xx processor, it would have been even more powerful. However, the 625 processor never bothered us a bit. So maybe you should just come to terms in that. You know, the, even, even the 625 is a very new processor, supports quick charging and it's, um, you know, coupled with that 4GB of RAM gave us perfect uh, performance, never felt any problem whatsoever. Maybe just a spec thing that you want the latest one when you're paying, um, you know, 28,000. But other than that, if you actually go ahead and see the performance, it does not do much different than an 8 x uh, processor, at least does not heat that much. So, um, yeah, more pros than cons. It has some pretty tough competition, specifically from the OnePlus 3. But knowing that the Zenfone 3 would be available both online and offline, uh, it would be easier to grab and it will also be available to wider um, audience. I also like the look on this better, camera on this better, remember. The audio might be about even. So yeah, and at the end, I also suppose Asus's after-sales service would be better than OnePlus as well. You have to take a call 
on that uh, many people love oneplus 3 i love the oneplus 3 as well so it's almost an even competition if you like this video please hit the like button ask anything related to this and we'll try to answer them all and please subscribe to our channel and share this video to share the love thank you